The next film reviewed on Mike Gunn's Film Reviews is Steven Soderbergh's Haywire, starring Gina Carano, Michael Fassbender, Ewan McGregor, Bill Paxton, Antonio Banderas' voice, Michael Douglas. The list goes on. Um, yeah, basically, female CIA agent gets betrayed and double-crossed, and therefore leading her to enact a one-woman rampage against the corrupt CIA who did her in. Um, it's basically like Kill Bill meets uh, like a Steven Seagal revenge film <laughs> done by Steven Soderbergh who did the Ocean's Eleven and Twelve and Thirteen films and he also did like Syriana and uh, just like different uh, other different stylish films and he's trying to bring the stylish kind of thing to the, the assassin revenge story and he does in some ways in um, it just feels like the same the same kind of style doesn't fit this story. Um, Gina Carano, who's like a um, mixed martial artist, and who this is her first acting job, and you can kind of tell. I mean, she tries to. Um, oh, she, she does she does pretty good with the stuff that she's given, but you can tie you can tell that she's just there just to do her own stunts and to do lots of action sequences and to do like fancy flips and kicks to guys and stuff. And the fact that it's a woman doing it rather than a, a typical man um, in this art in this sort of story. Um, again, I feel like because like she's not a um, established actress uh, the They've tried to um, make up for that fact with, uh, well, the, the compensating would be quite extensive male cast being filled with the <laughs> people that I mentioned before, uh, including like Channing Tatum and Tony Van Dara. He, he doesn't get enough <laughs> in this film, unfortunately. Um, but I feel like with so many like fantastic actors, they've just spread them all a bit too thin. Fassbender only gets like a little, like a bit part, and he's only in it for about 20 minutes. Hugh McGregor, he's, he's in parts again. Michael Douglas is all behind the scenes, and you don't really see him that much. I'm telling you, Banderas in like three times. And yeah, it's just different framing devices that they use, like, and plot devices like um, telling it in flashback and then going back to the present and then going still forward and then the present again. It's just. And the, it just, yeah, it loses the audience a few times. So a few times I have to turn to the guy I was sitting with and just like, Who, who's this? Who, is she on the right side or the wrong side? <laughs> Where are we in the storyline? It got a bit, it, maybe I'm just dumb. But for a film that's supposed to just be like, oh, sit back and watch, and oh, action, oh, yeah, it just got a bit too, wait, what, 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 sort of thing. And the action sequences, which is pretty much the just there for, are really good. Um, they, they take place in like, smaller situations, like a hotel room, or like on the on the roofs of houses, or down like a industrial corridor, or something like that. And Soderbergh does like the interesting thing of like whenever there's a um, a fight scene, he always t he turns like the music down or off, or all you hear is like the bone crunching of, of Punches and the fact that like they're throwing themselves through tables and it all sounds like really realistic and that is a nice artistic change and a nice sort of style that he's done. But altogether, it, it it didn't make up for the fact that it kind of let himself down in the storyline wise. You'd like both from a film like this, but when you go and see a film like Hey you know you're going to get more action than storyline. And in that aspect, uh, then it's really good. The action sequences are really good and. You can tell like a lot of efforts going to the choreography, and I, I liked it. I came out thinking yeah, it could have been better, but it's you know it's, it's pretty good for a film like it was. It's 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 worth it's worth a ticket price, I'd say. It's worth seeing in the cinema, to see on the big screen. Um, but it's just a shame that they let themselves down in certain areas. But it's it's worth it, I'd say. Thank you very much for joining us, and I shall speak to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.